Hey, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm talking about reality jumping, leaping in reality, or just shifting into the reality that you have already created. And this is my take on it. Okay, before we start, I'm an author and I am a coach. My coaching is available on my website. If you do sign up for any coaching with me now, from, from now on, um, because I'm not offering the free membership anymore, you automatically actually get three months premium membership on, on my website if you sign up to email coaching or any Zoom coaching or anything like that. Even if you're just having a one-off session, you still get the three months um, access. So there's courses on there and in that time, you should be able to work through the courses. Okay, so it's my theory that as soon as we desire something, we have the energetic version of us, of that thing within us, and then that's the frequency that goes out there. So we have created it in that moment. I don't believe that there are already every single, that, that there is already every single possibility out there, uh, and we're just kind of choosing one that's already there. It's my belief that actually we create it when we get the energy of it, so when we get the feeling of it, that's purely just the desire for it. If you haven't ever listened or read anything about Helen Hadsall, I'd really encourage you to do that because she is this lady that just won competition after competition after everyone she ever entered, I believe, she won. And that is because she would say the same thing. When you desire something, that is the energy of it. That is the feeling of it and the frequency of it. And she fully believed that and believed that I'm doing that and so I'm gonna win and she did everything. So have look her up um, because it's saying the same sort of thing really. Okay, so that's my belief. But actually, if you imagine everything as kind of a substance that we are molding, like space and time, um, there's infinite amounts of it and we are molding bits of it every single time to create another um, reality line. Then, so I believe it's instant. So I believe in instant manifestation. I believe that all manifestation is instant in the way it, it, this is my description of instant. You desire it and feel it, it is created, it's done. It's already done, you are just not experiencing it in this moment because you have other stuff going on. Maybe you're concerned about circumstances, maybe you have some opposing beliefs in there, other stuff going on that prevents you from actually experiencing it at the moment because what's going on at the moment is your frequency is mixed up with all this other stuff and it's like you are saying, not yet just not yet, so that's your frequency. So you're just holding it off with what's going on inside of you because I truly believe that everything is internal first and then external. So then you release on that, and how do you do that? You might completely give up, that can work, uh, that will work. Completely give up in, in sort of exasperation. You can decide to let go of the attachment, distract yourself as much as possible and not give it so much focus, not give it so much attention, not keep observing it. When you are observing something, this being quantum, what you're doing is holding it in place because you're observing the current situation and you're telling yourself, oh, this is what it is. Now you keep observing it and waiting for something to happen, but really you're feeling what it is. So again, you're held in the reality that you're in, but the other one is still there waiting for you. Now, I don't believe the other one is over here. I believe the other one is in here. I believe that everything is here because I believe that everything is consciousness and what we see as physical and what we understand as physical is only our description of what we are, you know, how we can touch and touch things and stuff. So that's what I believe is going on. So, and you know, you have proof of this. You will have proof of this in your own life because you would have thought about something, a person or something and seen that person in the afternoon, or you would have just had a thought and a feeling about something and experienced it really, really quickly because it's instant, because you had no resistance. You had a pure desire, not even necessarily a desire, but when you were thinking about something, there was a bit of intention behind it as in, now I'm just gonna explain what I consider to be intention. You could be purposely intending something or not, but the intention is the feeling of it. So let's say you're thinking about someone and you don't necessarily like this person particularly. So you're not having the best of feelings about, about them, but you're still having a feeling about that person that's fairly strong in whichever way. Then they show up in your reality and you think, well, I didn't want to see them. Well, it's irrelevant because you was just having the feeling about them. So you were putting out the energy, which is the frequency. So it has to come back to you. So it's instant. You didn't have to think about that. It's all instant. So it doesn't mean it's not instant. Um, when you haven't experienced it yet, it just means you're not experiencing it. Now, a really good way to aid yourself to get to the point where you do get to experience it 
is to leave it to your subconscious mind, which is your higher self, whatever you think it is. But if you think of it as just as your subconscious, which is part of you, it's easier to imagine that inside of you, isn't it? So that is doing what it needs to do. Just imagine everything in there and it's working on what it knows about you and what it knows that you want it. It's doing it. You can even imagine it whirring around like the little um, hard drive in there, doing what it needs to do. If I ever feel stuck with anything, I tend to just go to that and go, no, just let your subconscious deal with it. It knows what you want. Just don't get involved. Uh, and that is one um, sort of, it's not a trick, but it's a, it's a mindset thing. If you can get into doing that and thinking, I know exactly what I want. My subconscious knows everything. It knows exactly what I want. It knows my hopes and fears and all of that. And if I just leave it alone to do its stuff, it will do this for me and I don't have to do anything. How cool is that that I don't have to do anything? then I can experience that reality. Do we then shift into that reality? I just believe it just that thing that we want just shows up for us. You can say it's in this reality, so it just shows up in this reality, or you're shifting into the reality where it is. Who knows? I don't know. But I do believe 100% that as soon as you desire it and you have the feeling of it, then that is you um, sort of evoking the wish fulfilled, basically. You don't realise that, but it is in the moment. So it is there. You have created it. There's nothing else you need to do. It is done. I hope that this was useful. I just wanted to sort of talk about what I thought about it. And if you don't like the spiritual side of this, and I don't consider myself spiritual, then look at it as science, you know, quantum. In my opinion, that's what it is. Uh, so I hope this was useful. If you got something from this, awesome. And if you fancied subscribing after watching this, then that'd be awesome too.